We're going to kick start the weekend for you with, well, it's only a Thursday, but going into Friday and the weekend with Madonna and Ray of Light. One of the favorite songs that I absolutely adore from this woman. I thought this was the pinnacle of how she looked, how she felt about herself and how everybody was just so accepting and so in awe of her. And today, because she's 65, there's a lot of people saying, have you seen her celebration tour, CC, and what have you got to say about it? This is what I've got to say. Madonna, for many decades, has led the way for women to become in the music industry exactly what they need to become to make themselves known and appreciate it. And it doesn't matter what they believe in, what the verses are about, but she gave that confidence because she broke all barriers. And I was watching Madonna's first interview only two days ago, and it was on the Johnny Carson show in, in America. Check it out on YouTube. She's got the hair all blonde, and she's wearing a, a body top. And it was the first time that a woman had sat in Johnny Carson in an outfit like that, wearing a bodice, a very subtle bodice top compared to what she wears on stage and do you know what I felt and I have to say throughout all her interviews even her confessions interview Madonna talks so eloquently softly and calmly she's a breath of fresh air compared to the very excitable stars today oh yeah yeah it's my new single oh yeah 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 oh yeah I'm gonna talk oh yeah she's just so calm and well-spoken and self-confident and Madonna has a sensitive side not that we see much of it but all people can talk about at the moment is Madonna holding a rail pulling herself up and dancing and at 65 they they have made fun of her outfits how she looks how she's walking around stage and that she should retire I'm not here to judge Madonna that's why I'm picking Ray of Light, because I think we all need to see the light here. Nobody criticizes Barbara Streisand when she stands on stage. Nobody criticizes Beth Midler. Nobody criticizes Sure. Nobody criticizes even Kylie Minogue, now that she's over 50. Uh, 55, actually. And nobody criticizes many other artists throughout the world when they get on stage but Madonna always seems to pull in the views if you have something to say so all the so-called surgeons are talking about her face and no one's talking about Madonna's wonderful wonderful contribution to the music industry so this this is why I picked Ray Light in her confessions interview which I've done a thumbnail because I caught a moment where Madonna is just looking so natural so beautiful those eyes ever prominent are shining and she's always in interviews trying to be in control but there was a moment where she smiled because the interviewer mentioned her kids and suddenly there was this smile and I caught the moment so I hope you enjoy the thumbnail with this Ray of Light is one of those it's a song by Madonna and it's a title track and inspiration for the name she chose and went on to hit number five in the US charts. The acclaimed music video inspired by the documentary Koi An Iskwatski features fast moving blurred images of daily life. Swedish director Jonas Ackerland in an interview to a Swedish newspaper commented on the making of the video had two ideas that did not fit the song she said no even though I had a very clear idea how she would look in the video I worked up on another idea and brought together a featured band for her to see I did it all in front of me in retrospect it feels good the video we have done much better suited to the track than the first ideas Madonna has an incredible track on everything she's doing style music business She's a mental track of every single thing and won't give up until she's completely satisfied. And that is my point about her doing her celebration tour. Why should she give up? Nobody else seems to. They all seem to be coming back. Even ABBA. So, and on the music, and what are those four boys? 
oh, I can't think. Anyway, anyway, it continues. And on the music videos, there's nothing she does with one hand on her back. She's engaged 100%, which is even at 65, that's what she does. Madonna added about the video, a day in the life of Earth to show that we are rushing forward to the end of the 1900th century at full speed. I think Jonas made a great interpretation of the song, although he enforced although he forced me to dance like crazy for two days. He's a tough director. Lyrically, the song is about feeling free. This is what the song's about, everybody. With Madonna saying it was all about the feeling of wonderment, looking at the world finally with your eyes open. That's what it's about. And I think a lot of people in this time with wars and everything going on in the world just need to open their eyes appreciate what they have if you've got a roof over your head a bed to sleep food in your cupboard you're doing well compared to millions of people today keep smiling keep the faith and shed a ray of light on your life and keep moving as madonna does in the video fast forward towards your goals i wish you the best of luck in 2024 take it away madonna and ray of light.
so there goes madonna into the ray of light as you can see outside the brightness is coming in that's my ray of light because even though it's the coldest week so far of the winter season here in dublin i'm telling you it's bright and it's sunny we're playing ray of light i have a ray of light coming in let's give you the summary now of the song and by the way happy new year to all madonna fans and non-madonna fans who might be watching and treating themselves to what she confessed in conf in a confessions interview years ago that that was her favorite song so in honor of you madonna that is what i'm playing today ray of light by madonna is a song about transformation enlightenment and freedom those lyrics suggest that the pr protagonist has found a way to escape the pain and sadness of the world and feels at home in a universe of their own making in the first verse the singer ponders whether her tears of mourning will ever be able to escape the darkness and find the light the call of thunder threatens everyone suggesting a world of constant turmoil and pain poor madonna because verse one says sephiroth in the sky i wonder do my tears of mourning sink beneath the sun she's got herself a universe gone quickly for the call of thunder threatens everyone and chorus and i feel like i just got home and i feel like i just got home repeats itself and then in verse two it says faster than the speed of light she's flying trying to remember where it all began She's got herself in a little piece of heaven, waiting for the time when the earth shall be as one. And the chorus repeats, and I feel like I just got home. And the post-chorus, quicker than a ray of light. So, the chorus, that refrain, and I feel like I just got home, that's expressing a feeling of comfort and belonging to the universe. Madonna is experiencing a sense of liberation and joy, as if a great burden has been lifted. And that second verse describes Madonna, Madonna's journey towards enlightenment and her efforts to remember where it all began. She's a little piece of heaven waiting for her, suggesting that she's found her spiritual fulfillment. Now, I don't know, I can't remember, was it around that time that she actually um, found a religion? Not Christianity, I know she was Christian at one stage. Madonna was a lot of things, but she found... I think it was in Frozen, she had all the, all the symbols on her hand. I can't think of the name of the... Not Kabbalah, Kabbalah, something like that. Anyway, I just hope she, today, with all the criticism thrown at her on the Celebration Tour, and unsold seats, and you can get them for 65, and Taylor Swift, you have to pay hundreds. Well, of course, Taylor Swift is half her age, less than half. And we'll just see what happens to all those people who say Taylor Swift gets a couple of hundred, Madonna doesn't. That's not the point. The point is she's a performer, it's in her blood. Leave the woman alone. She's given enough to the music industry for us to command her respect. Let's put a bit of light Madonna's way instead of all this dark doom and gloom just to get views. So anyway, when it comes to the final verses now, I'll just bring them up. Verse 3, Sephir at night she repeats, I wonder, do my tears of mourning sink beneath the sun? She's got herself a universe gone quickly for the call of thunder that threatens everyone. And I feel quicker than a ray of light it continues, then gone for someone else will be there through the endless years. Always deep meaning in Madonna's lyrics. And the outro, she's got herself a universe, she's got herself a universe, repeats itself. And I feel like I just got home. And it finally finishes quicker than a ray of light. The post chorus, quicker than a ray of light, that's just emphasizing everyone the speed and the power of this transformation. The third verse I've just read out in the bridge repeated those things of the first, suggesting a cycle almost a cycle of a journey of transformation and renewal for madonna overall ray of light is a break breaking free from the constraints of the world finding a personal universe of joy and enlightenment and isn't that what we need in 2024 in january going into the whole new year we need to feel enlightened and we also need joy that's why i'm playing it and embracing a power of transformation let's all transform for the better in 2024 Madonna's use of imagery and metaphors suggests in the video a spiritual journey and a rebirth of the soul. 
Sometimes we get our hearts broken, but beneath our heart is a soul. We need to enlighten and bring back things into our life that once made us happy. And like outside, bring that ray of light back into your life to bring karma, happiness, and future prosperity. I wish that for you all. Take care. Bye-bye. Thanks for listening.